I've got a fun video for today. Today we are doing Harry Potter origami. Now this book I got from my parents kind of at the beginning of quarantine. I got something in the mail and I'm like, what the heck is this? Did I order anything? I, I didn't order anything. But my parents just randomly sent it to me just as a fun thing to do during quarantine. But that was back when I still had lots of school stuff and so I never really got it out and did anything. So I thought I would do the first one with you guys on this channel. It looks like there are actually quite a few different things that we could make. There's the sorting hat, a cauldron, a howler, a cat, owl, golden snitch, dragon, fireball, Chocolate Frog, Unicorn, Hippogriff, Fox the Phoenix, Fluffy, a Stag Patronus, and Hogwarts. The last ones are the more difficult ones. I was thinking of starting just at the beginning with an easy one with the sorting hat. A fun thing about this book is that it has actual paper, like specially printed paper for each of the origami things, but you guys can definitely follow along if you want. You'll just need your own piece of square paper. If it's brown, then that's extra good. But it looks like this one in the book is just under eight and a half by eight and a half inches. I will just go ahead and cut it out. So my camera just fell on it so there's a bit of a dent and scratch but it's not that noticeable so oh well. And here we are. So it says to start with a kite base which is where you fold it in half and then fold these in. Crap I don't think I've cut this as a perfect square because it's not lined up perfectly. Oh well. I have to say, because this book is printed on like basically magazine paper, it's really weird to be doing origami with basically magazine paper. Like origami paper is like normal paper that's been printed on on one or both sides. So honestly, it's kind of hard to see what I'm like actually doing because the paper's so shiny. Okay, we've got that creased. Then it says to fold this corner down here and fold the sides back in then fold the base up about an eighth of an inch that's not very much they folded it more in the picture than an eighth of an inch that's probably a fourth of an inch and it still looks smaller than the fold they've got going on there then fold the base under okay yeah I did a good amount because look right there you can actually see the mouth at the brim of the hat right I think that's the Point, even though it seems not as big of a base as the one they've got going on there. Now we're making some creases, you know, an old worn hat, and pleat it back up. Then fold this down this way, and pleat it back up. And then last one, but not least, one more time and create a pleat and curl the sides back to make the hat 3D. This isn't making it very 3D. Maybe this will make it more 3D, like, it, like I'm rolling it up. Oh yeah, perfect. I also added an extra crimp to the top to make it a little bit more sorting hat-esque. But there you have it, there's the sorting hat. It's a bit smaller than I expected. And it doesn't have a back. So, honestly it's a little bit of a disappointment. And the one in the picture looks a lot better than mine too, except I added the cool crimp thing, but it was more crooked, lopsided like the actual sorting hat, and mine just seemed like a perfect triangle before I did that. I wonder if I could grab another piece of brown paper, do the same thing again, and like make it into an actual hat. Excuse me for a second. So I have some construction paper from forever ago, and I don't have this same color of brown, but I do have a tan. And the tan is more of like a, it's not really the construction paper feel, so it'll probably work fine for the origami. I'm just gonna measure another square. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. This one ended up bigger. Hmm. Oh, when 
I should have mirrored the. Okay, let's re redo this end part. It'll be extra wrinkly on the back. Hold down this way. This time I'm actually gonna try to match it to be about the same. Okay, they match. Let's see if I can do something cool. Okay, you know what, this isn't working, just kidding. It's more of a crumpled mess in the back, but it does help it stay up, and maybe I could get it to balance on my head. So I guess it's a slight improvement as long as you don't see it. But there we have it, sorting hat using origami. I'll just give that a little place to stay right here next to my real mini sorting hat. Well, yeah, I was thinking that since it took such a short amount of time just to make that single sorting hat that I'd do a second one in this video, but I think we're out of time now that I spent way too much time trying to make the back thing work that didn't work, but it does help it stay up, so I guess that's a win. But I'm definitely not opposed to doing more of these origami projects in future videos. I read a list of all of the options at the beginning. I'll put up a better picture of this so you can read it pretty well, but there's a lot of things to choose from. And I'm not afraid of doing the difficult ones. I just wanted to start with an easy one to see how it went. But I mean, I did a lot of origami growing up, so it's not like a new thing for me. But anyway, let me know down in the comments which origami thing you'd like me to do next from this book. And as always, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe, which you can do by clicking over there. And check out more of my videos. Up top is one of my Harry Potter DIY projects. And underneath that is a playlist of all my Harry Potter videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!